Mrs. Anderson Pens podcast episode 281 for Wednesday, July 25th, 2018. This is Brian. What does that mean? <laughs> it would be a miracle. It would be a miracle. In what way? <clears throat> so, you know, I got an email. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you did. From, uh, from Google Earth. I say they can now read maps backwards. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was just spam. It was funnier the first time. <laughs> Full disclosure, I told Lisa this joke yesterday. I know, and she it was laughed. funny. And she says, you should tell that joke. <laughs> I know, but then you were making fun of me right before we started. Why would it be a miracle if I got pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. All right. Uh, here we are. Um, Go. First thing I want to mention is last week the pilot limited edition Vanishing Point Crimson Sunrise that we talked about. Yes. Uh, flew out the door. We only had a couple. Sorry, we, did, we didn't have enough for everyone. It's but warm in here. Um, <laughs> basically, what happens when we have things like that, the newsletter usually gets first crack. So um, if, uh, if you all haven't subscribed up to, to the newsletter, go to AndersonPens.com. And at the bottom of any page, there's a link to, to subscribe to the newsletter. So when we find stuff like that or things, unique things happen like that, they're going to go to the newsletter first. Things we pick up at shows. Yep, yep. Uh, I would like to hope we don't find too many other crazy things when we're cleaning out in prep for the move. Um, so. Unless I send you home one day and I start to snoop around your desk nope. and all your drawers. Nope, not going to happen. Not going to happen. That you're not I'll take all. Home I'll or? take all my friends <laughs> with me. Um, what else is in there? There's you, and you don't need to know. Oh, okay. All right, lead on. Uh, new this week, uh, Faber Castell. I have not seen these. These are great. I really like these. Uh, I'm surprised you picked that one up. They have changed the name. I'd leave the pink for you. Of uh, the basic to the essentio. I don't know why. What was wrong with the basic? Well. Maybe it was too basic. Right. Um, essentially, it was a little fancier. Fancier. So the Faber Castell Basic has been renamed. Uh, looks. It's ex basically the same. Um, I like the blue. But these have a brushed finish. A brushed aluminum. And a section too. So. Yeah, these are nice. Which is kind of nice. And they come in that nice bl dark uh, blue. Aluminum and, blue and, and this rose. That is pretty. Yeah. I'm trying to get out of my rose gold phase, but then the companies come out. More, this is a little more pink than rose gold. It is. It is. And I'm not a pink kind of girl. But it's a nice, so it's I'm, a nice pink. It's pretty. It's not bright and obnoxious. It's not so pale that you wonder if it's pink or not. It's it's a pretty color. You know, this this pen does post, but it's kind of it was like it was an afterthought for Faber Castell. Oh, maybe we ought to post it. And it it's posts like, well, it's just very it's like long. I can use it for Ooh. Baseball bat or a golf club or something, but uh, golf club. Unposted is really a nice length. You know, these have always been a nice pen. I always liked um, the black leather because it had that stitching, stitching on the back. Stitching was cool. The carbon um, was always nice. It's such a guy thing. <clears throat> carbon doesn't do it for me. Well, I think this is going to be you know this, this this section now, and it's got a little texture to it, so it's not you know it's it, not it has slippery. those grooves, but then. Each each slat here, as it were, is is brushed, so it really isn't. It's, it's got a nice some, some texture to it. Yeah, I like these. Um, I think that's better than the plastic well, section. Why don't I have one? I have no idea. Maybe so I these should. just came in, and they come in ball points too. Yes. Which is nice. Uh, you know, nice button actuated ball point. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Does that um, hurt for you to put a ballpoint no, in your, in have, your pocket? I have a couple of ballpoints. You do? I do. I'd like you to count how many ballpoints you have when we get back to the office. I bet you I have. The public would like to know I bet you exactly I have how many ballpoints Brian or, Anderson has. Three or is. four. <laughs> I, I, have, I have a Maki A ballpoint in my collection. It just makes you sound so snobby. <laughs> I'm just saying, if I'm going to have a ballpoint, should have macchiate on it, shouldn't it? Well, I guess I have the Visconti Medici rose gold. That's really pretty. All right. All right. So anyway, on. Uh, Faber Castell. I like those a lot. is the new basic. Yeah, this yes. is a nice, uh, a really nice look. Um, They've done a nice job. Yeah, steel nib, great writer. Yes. Uh, 
Sailor has a new ink out um, in the uh, pigmented line. So you have the Kiwaguro. Kiwaguro. Seiboku. And now we have... Souboku. Um, it also comes in the new square bottle, which I really like. Yeah, it's nice. It's a bigger version of the, the Shikiori. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's got like the cap is like a metallic almost. Yeah. It's got a metallic it's, finish It's got on a the cap. slightly matte finish, so it's nice. Um, it's not slippery. So I it hate... The, the cap had like sheen. Cool. I know. Right? It's it, like, nice. It, it, like, it's blue, but it's there's like a little okay. red. Yeah. Little rose. Um, I like that it's not slippery. I hate plastic caps that are slippery. It's faceted, so it's easy to grip, mm -hmm. just like the Shikior. And it does not have that plastic insert. Um, for some people, it was a, a love-hate thing. Mm -hmm. They either really liked it or didn't. Um, I think these... It's a nice, nice little box, too. These will pack better. They will pack better. Ship better. Pack uh, it's better. a gorgeous looking b bottle. Let me All see right. this. But, you know, nobody cares about the bottle. Well, Everybody I, I wants to know. I care about the bottle. It's a nice thick what bottle. What does it look like? And it's a good looking color, too. Yeah. Um, a little more blue. Can you see that? Yeah, let me just put yeah. that right over there. <laughs> you, you do know they can put this. I know. They can. So you don't have to. I know that. <laughs> but it's more fun to do it this way. I'm feeling, I'm feeling it today. All right, so uh, Sobuku, 50 mil, uh, same price as the Kiwa Guru and the Seiboku. Yes. So, uh, nice, and a uh, gorgeous bottle that I That is a nice bottle. I like it. Yeah. So. All right, speaking of ink, we have a boatload, like literally a boatload. You know, Monteverde has really, in the last year, come up with some really nice, uh, they've, they've expanded their ink from what used to be, what was it, about, about 12 colors? To like 90. They've got a lot. Um, <laughs> at, least a five, lot. If, at least five or six dozen colors. Yes. Now, um, and yeah, now they come. With cards. They come in. Do you have any jacks? Cartridges. No, 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 <laughs> only kings. Go fish. Um, come in cartridges, international size. And then this is a nice little These plastic are container. Terrific. All joking aside, great little container. Um, 12 in a package. For six dollars, that's a terrific value. Super cheap. Uh, so if there are uh, colors, here's the number number one in the Monteverdi olivine that you like. <clears throat> now they come in standard international short cartridges. I like the horizon. You know what? I might even have a list here. You Blue, do? black. All right. Brown sugar. We can make a song out of this. California teal. Good, good luck with blue. that. You gonna start rapping? Please don't. Fire opal, Malibu blue, Moonstone, Napa burgundy, olivine. Not the Edelstein olivine. Uh, purple Rain, Red Velvet, Sapphire. Um, there is a mixed pack. This is cool. Um, so this is 12 carts, two each of Black Ash, Malibu Blue, uh, one each of the Blue Black, Caribbean Blue, Emerald Green, Napa Burgundy, Purple Rain, Rose Pink, Scotch Brown, and Valentine Red. I'm still so. hung up on you made me a mixtape. I made you a mixtape. There you go. Anybody remember those? <laughs> Burn a CD for some you, you, you just aged yourself. Because <laughs> it's my birthday kids, on Sunday. Kids don't do mixtapes anymore. I will be 53. 29. What are you getting me? Whatever you want. <laughs> I got it on tape. All right. No, I, All right. Like, I like the mixed. Um, mixed has always been popular. It's been popular with the pilot. Mm -hmm. um, Schaefer has a mixed pack. Um, and so you get a couple of different different choices. In case you don't necessarily want 12 of something, but these are some really good colors. They're, um, yes, very good colors. Um, really like the packaging. They've done a, a really a terrific job. So, so international excited. cartridges. Uh, we've got 15 or 16 different uh, colors, and uh, the super Jeep. So cool. Uh, right. We have a new thing this week. Is it? So okay. on Instagram, mm -hmm. Instagram story, ask us anything. Oh God. Sort of. It don't. Anything. <laughs> um, so uh, you'll see this on, I don't know how to do this here. You'll see this on Instagram. There's a story. Check it out. You can uh, ask us questions. Ask us anything. I don't know if there's an order to this. I don't guarantee we're going to. Is there an order to this? Answer. Okay. Right. I'm going to do this here. All, All right. right. I'd pick the first one. Okay. Is Sailor Ink safe to use in vintage Esterbrook pens? Yes, absolutely. Duff. You betcha. Um, use it in everything. 
You should use Sailor Egg and everything because it's just awesome. And, and it comes in a great did bottle. Did we mention the bottle? <laughs> the bottle. <Awesome. laughs> I really like the bottle. Uh, no, these, these, are, these are actually questions on Instagram. So. Uh, Sailor Ink is safe to use in vintage pens, in modern pens. Um, I think I might have an Astrobrook inked yep. up, actually. Yeah, your, your user caveats, I think, apply. Pigmented inks, don't leave them in there for three months. Um, yep. They can, they can become finicky, but usually you're okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, can you ruin a fountain pen by not cleaning it out, asking for a friend? <laughs> uh, well, Tell your friend yes. It depends. It depends on what you mean by not cleaning it out and how long that is, I guess. You know, you are just the king of qualifiers. Um, I suppose the, the end result is yes, you could if you left it in there for a super long time. Depends on what the ink is. Depends on what the filling system is, I guess. You know, if it's a... Where's the question? Where's when the in question doubt, here? don't leave ink in there forever. Um, if it's a pigmented ink or a shimmer ink, for sure, um, definitely rinse it out. Um, it is fairly rare that you, like, excuse me, ruin, ruin a pen. You're probably most likely going to have problems if you leave ink in a piston filler for, like, months and months um you know now if you're, if you're using waterman schaefer um parker any of those basic inks um you're not going to have too much of a problem but if you start leaving permanent inks um pigmented all those kinds of things you leave it in there piston sometimes they can it can dry up and it can really you put excess pressure on the piston or vacuum unit you get excess pressure and and things can happen so um just uh the best thing to do is uh get some water in it and and just let it sit. Isn't that a country song? Asking for a friend. Ask it is a country song. Yep. I'm asking for a friend. Okay. Uh, Go ahead. Do you want to read on? No. Okay. Midori yes. MD paper or Tomoe River paper. Sounds like a. You know, I'm really enjoying the Midori anniversary. Okay. They have some cool uh, cool patterns. Mm -hmm. um, I don't really have a preference. I'm not much. I gotta admit, I'm not much of a paper guy. <gasps> Uh, Tomoe is nice. I have it in my Hobonichi that I don't really use, but I like it. <laughs> uh, the, sh the sheen so is great. So does that count? Well, it sort of counts because I sort of used it. Um, the sheen is nice. If you have something with sheen, it's really it really pops on Tomoe. I really like that. You're just not a planner kind of guy. But not really, no. Um, you tried. But it's like me and journaling. I tried. It just doesn't work. Midori wins out for just having the most unique styles Absolutely. available. Absolutely. Um, All right. So... Uh, okay, uh, I'm pretty new to following you guys. How did you two meets, meets, and start your business? How did you two meet and start your business? Oh God. Um, long story short, we used to bid against each other on eBay back in the '90s. That's a true story. Um, I cost was Brian a lot of money. It was '90s. It right? was the '90s. Yeah. Um, I cost Brian a lot of money. She did. And because um, if I couldn't I have, have it, he was going to pay for it. I have the pens to prove it. Yes, you do. Um, we met in person in 03. <coughs> Chicago Pen Chicago Show. Chicago Pen Show. Yep. Um, at which time uh, we had a number of our pens photographed for one of Paul Arano's first books. All of the pens were attributed to me. <laughs> Most of the pens were Brian's. He's still a little <coughs> sore about that. The first printing in the book says... Pens from the collection of Lisa Haynes. Second printing of the book is the one that I kept because it does say pens from the collection of Brian Anderson, Lisa Haynes. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah. So. And then uh, yeah. Facebook just told me that um, you well, friended me on Facebook. Well, I sent you a request, right? Yeah. 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 So Brian friended me on Facebook, and. Um, Back when Hotmail was a thing. Hot if you mail. can believe it. I had a Hotmail account back then. Oh, all right. So uh, fast forward a few years, the kids and I, uh, my kids and I moved up to Appleton from Tampa in uh, 2009. 2009. And um, we got married in 2010. And At the Chicago Pen Show. At the Chicago Pen Show. Yes, indeed. And um, the website has gone through a number of revisions. I think originally we were selling <coughs> pens um, 
to pay for the wedding and ref and, and to finance some no, of the house renovations. No, no. On I, actually, what it was is you told me say, if you're going to buy pens, you, you have to, to sell, sell some pens. of this stuff. <clears throat> yes, that's how it started. Okay, and so we were selling on Estherbrook.net. Yep, and we're doing some eBay stuff too. Yep, eBay. Um, and then we just moved everything over to a new site and kept changing it. I'd like to stick three, with this for a three, while. Three versions later, here we are. So yes. That's kind of the long and short. We actually did bid against each other. Yes. So. All right. Go. Hit me. Pro Gear Slim or full size? That's pretty easy. Slim. Um, you know, it, it really depends. You don't like Pro Gear Slims. They're I don't. Too small I for don't. You. They, they so are too for small. For you, it would be King of Pen or Pro Gear. But posted, the slim is fine, and a lot of the special editions only come in Pro Gear Slim. I know. It's um, so awesome. I do prefer full size, but if it depends on your hand. So if you have a larger hand, you're going to have to post that Pro Gear Slim. Um, and if you're not a poster, then that's not going to work for you. As opposed to a poser. Poser, yes. <laughs> yeah. um, I, so my preference when given the choice is the full size. Pro Gear Slim. Pro Gear Slim. All good. <clears throat> Though I've cleaned it like crazy, my converter has a bluish tint from previous inks. Is it safe to keep using it? Asking for a friend. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> that's awesome. Is that Eric's question? Uh, um, you know, it's not going to hurt your pen in any way, shape, or form. Some um, inks will stain. Some inks will stain. And... Um, Sometimes it's really difficult to get out. Sometimes it's impossible to get out. Um, but it, it it's not going to. It's not going to. As long as it's been cleaned yeah. and it's just a stain, it's like coffee cups get stained. Yeah, coffee cups get stained, and the coffee doesn't taste any worse. So yeah, no problem with there. Uh, I can't answer this question. Oh God! If you had to pick one pen to use for the rest of your life, which pen would it be? Mm. See, Eric's going to yell at me because I'm just going to refuse to answer that question. But um, I, I don't know where I would start on this one. You know, it's I, I'd it's, it's the same like stranded on a desert island. You pen. know, the, you know the joke about two. Uh, I do. It's really not that funny. <laughs> it is funny because when you tell it at a pen show, everybody laughs. There are two pen collectors stranded on an island. Okay. Both of them make money. <laughs> All right, so if you had to pick one pen to use for the rest of your life, um, I love my Sailor Peacock. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you know, and maybe a cartridge converter wouldn't be the worst thing in the world because you could always refill a cartridge. With you know, if you, if you have a, if you have a, yeah, if we're on the island, um, cartridge converter wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I, I, I don't know what I would pick. You, you know what actually comes to mind? And you probably won't even guess this. My Schaefer Intensity. An Estherbrook Relief. Really? Really. Why? Because they are so beautiful. The marbled plastics. Okay. Great 14 karat nibs. I think I would have to go with some sailor. Okay. Probably the Peacock. Probably the Or the, the Peacock. Pro Gear Slim Slate. Because okay. it's so pretty. All right. Okay. Go. Hit me. Ooh, okay. Uh, this is good. If you guys could bring back one defunct pen company, what would it be? Defunct. Defunct. I know this one. Okay. Hit me. Astrobrook. No, just kidding. <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> um, you know Aiken Lambert. I am, I am everything about Aiken Lambert. Really? Yes. Quality, very kind of... Smaller scale, but everything they made was amazing. Um, beautiful, beautiful pens, amazingly writing instruments. Um, that's what I would do. I'd bring back Aiken Lambert. I don't know that I have anything that I'm that much in love with that's gone away. That isn't already sort of back? Yeah. Conway? <gasps> Conway did have really Conway pretty nice pens. pens. I, yeah. yeah, Conway Stewart. Conway Stewart. There we yeah, go. I'm glad I could help you with that one. All right, next question. Anderson Sailor exclusives are mainly 1911. Any Pro Gear versions coming? Well, uh, Slate. It's we out actually, now. Uh, we actually have had three 
exclusive sailor pens. The first one was the 1911 standard slate. Yes. The second was the 1911 standard peacock. Yes. And the third and sort of fourth were both Pro Gear versions. Yes. The Pro Gear full size and Pro Gear slim slate. So. 50-50. Uh, 50-50 right now. We're shooting and, and based on volume, same amount. So um, the answer is yes. And in the future, we no, have. The it was a why. Why? No, it was are there any. Oh, are okay. any Pro Gear versions coming? So we do have them out now. Yes. Um, the, actually, the full size is almost completely sold out. We are down to like a very small number. And <laughs> at some point, there will be more. There will be. I just read the next question. Okay. Uh, there will be more. We have a bunch of colors picked out, um, and we've got a killer, killer pen coming next oh, year, but we can't. Oh my God. Can't talk about is it. Is it March? Maybe March. I think Maybe March. March. Yep. Okay. March would be awesome. I can't, I can't answer, ask this question. Why are you so darn awesome? No, seriously, why? Um, I'm okay. not that. I'm glad that was the last question. That's a plant. Question. That's a plant. Um, we are awesome. We're all right. We're all right. We do okay. Um, okay, so that's uh, Ask Us Anything. <laughs> Instagram. Um, Instagram's cool. They're doing so many cool things. They got some new things coming out. This is a new feature that they have where you, you go at the top of your Instagram uh, and you see the stories there, and then there's a little thing you tap, and you can actually type in, um, type in the question right there. So that's cool. Um, other news coming up next week. My birthday is your birthday, actually, in four days. Oh okay. god. Um, so whatever you want, just let me know. Um, cool, you said that twice. I know. Uh, DC Pen Show is coming up. I can't believe it's here already. Finally, um, I think it's going to be awesome this year. I'm really positive. You um, know, I, I know I'm a excited. lot of people were unhappy last year. Um, it was a new venue, and it's things changed. People things change. were disorganized. Um, <laughs> yes, yes, they were. <laughs> my feeling is that this year should be better because the tables have already been set up. Um, meaning the table layout. Yes, the layout is. Um, people know where it is. People know where the ballroom is. I mean, change is not easy for pen people. Um, whether it's the DC show, which is huge, or uh, Baltimore has changed a number of times, mm -hmm. um, changed the location. Uh, it's always confusing. But I think that um, to over dramatize the problems doesn't help. No, I think it's going to be, uh, we're going to walk in this year and it's going to be super easy. Now, from what I understand, actually, when I was in Miami, um, I heard that there were some things behind the scenes that nobody really talked about. Um, there was a last minute change by the hotel. Hmm. So that's part of the reason for the chaos. Um, and Bob would never share that because yeah, he's very no, private. No. And yeah. So I, I think this year it's going to be a breeze. We're going to walk in. We're, if you had a table last year, you're going to have a, the, probably the same table because that's just how it is. And, and if I were organizing a show, I would do the same thing. Yes. Get you where you are. Boom. Unless you're complaining, I'm not going to move you. Right. Because right. why Why would anybody that's do any, what, any extra work? So. And, and that's what Bob likes to do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we will have an issue, though. We're going to have an issue? Yeah. What's the issue? None of our roadies are going to be there. None of our roadies? We had so much help setting up last year we were done in record time. It was like an hour and a half it was you and i it was <clears throat> ashley and phil it was janelle it was steven and aziza and none of those people are going to be here and it's very sad well mike mike's probably going to be there yep mike. mike can help maybe if he's there we'll put him to work so it'll be and fine it's going to be fine yeah um, it's going to be good it's going to be awesome because actually you know i like that room i thought it was a nice room mm -hmm. Um, and it's the DC Pen Show, so. What's not to like? What's There's not to like? a ton of pens, a ton of vendors, a lot of the uh, distributors and manufacturers will be there. They don't go to most shows, so it's an opportunity to see a lot of uh, new product or um, things that most vendors don't carry. Um, I mean, who doesn't want to hold like a $10,000 pen? That's just kind of fun. Yeah. So, uh, it's going to be great. Coming up August 2nd through the 5th, uh, we do have a DC Pen Show pickup on the website. So, um, if there's anything that you for sure have to have, order, order it online. It, order it online because you can't, we can't bring everything. And if you come on Sunday hoping you're going to get a bottle of Kohn Pecky, uh, you might be out of luck. So, 
Um, just order it. It does not count toward your show purchases. Just tell your spouse that. Yep. Um, but anyway, Pen Show pickup on the website, August 2nd through the 5th, DC Pen Show. So, uh, other news this last weekend. We went to a wedding. Our very own Mr. Paper got married. Mr. and Mrs. Paper now. No, I know. So. Um, there is a, um, a venue up in Door County called Bjork London. Bjork London. Um, that is part of Lawrence University, and I guess there's some arrangement where Lawrence University alumni can use the facility. Mm -hmm. it's, it's big yep. for weddings, apparently. Yep. Beautiful Gorgeous space. Place. Um, the problem is that um, Mr. and Mrs. Paper had been planning this outdoor wedding for like a year and a half once they knew where, they knew where it was going to be, and so they knew what they wanted. Um, the day of the wedding, it poured. The weather, so, weather was awful. Yeah, and in fact, awful. we were looking the day before and crossing our fingers, and the drive up was, in part of it was pretty torrential. It was bad, yeah, it was bad news. We got there. Just skies opened up. It was perfect. It was perfect. Yeah. It was cool, not cold. It was not muggy. There were no bugs. It, high 60s, it was really It was beautiful. Really pretty perfect. They had it outside. Um, the facility itself was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of, um, it's Scandinavian, it was Swedish, and it was um, a lot of wood, a lot of glass, the food was great, yep. uh, we had a really good time. Well done, well done. And uh, I would like to tender my resignation. <laughs> yeah, no you can't. I'm going to quit <laughs> Anderson Pens, yeah. effective today. Right. And I would like to become a professional wedding crasher. Okay. Because <laughs> now we were invited. You let, you let me know how that works out. For I'm that. going to because you get to dress up. Yeah. Um, everybody's happy. Right. You get good food. Um, if you pick it right, you get open bar, <laughs> and you get to dance. You get to chit chat with fun people. She's not quitting. Wouldn't that be awesome? I think I'm, in my next life, or when I grow up, I would like to be a, a professional wedding crasher. Wedding crasher. Okay. Right. We got to sit next to Mr. Paper's high school art teacher. Mr. Paper's high school art teacher, yeah, nice guy. Nice yeah. guy, who actually had a Schaefer lifetime, balanced lifetime, I think mm -hmm. is what he had. Um, actually, no, it wasn't a balance, it would have been, I didn't want to get into it, it sounded like it was probably a touchdown or a snorkel. Um, but uh, he was a big fan of Schaefer, and then his wife got him uh, another Schaefer to replace that that he's mm -hmm. had for, what do you say, 30 years? Something like so, that. So interesting, the people you see well, out and, and about. And Chris had given all of his groomsmen um, Kawakos, and so mm -hmm. they had them all in their shirts. Yep. So that was cute. Um, but little, no, little, it was... Little sports. And we realized it was the first wedding we've gone to together since we've been since married. Since we got married, yeah. So. So. That's what happens when you get old. Nobody invites you to weddings anymore. Everybody else you know is married. So. I know. Uh, the other cool thing about the wedding was, it was an interesting thing. On the table, Chris had little ink bottles that he removed the labels from and put little flowers in. So they were, they were All the empties. dispersed uh, throughout the tables. And it was interesting because there were some bottles I was having a hard time recognizing. They, they, took the, the they took the labels off, and I was looking, and I knew that he had purchased a ton of empty ink bottles. Like 50 or something? 50 or more. Uh, he did a, a couple batches of them. But um, I was staring at one, picked it up, finally realized that it was a Shimmertastic, um, Diamine Shimmertastic ink bottle. Um, the table next to us had a J. Herbin. Over there was a Diamine. They were all over. We had like yeah. three or four right within... Um, the Mont Blanc, um, the fluted bottle mm -hmm, is really, mm -hmm. the little square bottle is really nice. But um, that was kind of fun um, in a geeky way. Yep. So. Uh, Dave and his wife Julie were there sitting next to us, so we were playing the Guess the Empty Ink Bottle game. So. That's it. Very good. Uh, anything else? I think that's it. So uh, congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Paper. So. I think that's it for this week. Thanks so much for joining us. Tune in next week for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Follow our blog for news, ink reviews, all sorts of other fun videos, and check us out on social media as Anderson Pets. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.